Hey, what is going on guys, back to our video, and this is going to be a very intimate discussion of something that I'm actually going to be embarking on, and it is what we call the social media detox. So I'm pretty sure you've heard of people doing this detox where they abstain from social media for various amounts of time, 30 days, 60 days, 90 days. For me, it is going to be at a much lesser degree. I am specifically going to be detoxing from Facebook. I have just been realizing that whenever I log on to Facebook, I feel very unproductive. Now, although Facebook does not get in the way of my academics or social life, it definitely puts a hole in my time. I feel unproductive. You know, I feel like Facebook, it's very advertised. You know, they advertise all sorts of things. They talk about hacks and just information and videos kind of content that I have no interest in that are very irrelevant now Facebook does have its pros for one Facebook allows people to connect online and it is a very good platform especially for business although LinkedIn is the bomb with that so this morning, actually, I deactivated my account. Now you may be thinking, are you quitting YouTube as well or taking a break from YouTube? No. The reason why I'm still doing YouTube is because it's something that I actually enjoy and that I have time for. With Facebook, I don't feel productive on it. On YouTube, I do feel productive when I have the free time to make videos. If you're watching this and you are thinking about doing a social media detox, I really do invite you guys to do this because it is going to free up some space in your mind. Social media in general is a highlight reel. Life is not 100% perfect. There are parts of our lives that we don't want to share online, which is completely fine. But I believe that in times of adversity, we should seek in-person interaction with the people we love and take a detox from social media with my youtube channel this is also pretty much a highlight reel as well but i am not intentionally trying to say that my life is perfect when i make these vlogs it's just for fun and there are so many things going on in my life that you don't see i invite you guys to do the social media challenge it's a choice you don't have to but it definitely is something that i am going to experience. Now before I close this video, I want to emphasize a concept of the social media detox that is a sweet spot for a lot of scrutiny or judgment. And that is the idea that all of the benefits that you receive from abstaining from social media is merely a state of your own mind. This is what we call placebo effect. Humans are skeptical in nature. So when we are introduced to a new idea or principle, practice, we are not going to immediately subscribe to it. Which is why to really reap the benefits of the social media detox, you have to actually do the social media detox. And that is why I believe it is just something that is worth doing. There are a lot of science articles about this topic, and you can read all about it online. And I'll actually provide a couple links below, but this is just a short video. I really want to do this challenge and see for itself. You know, is it placebo? Is it not? I will tell you in an update video about a month from now, so see you in a bit.